Right, so I just filmed a fruit haul or a market haul. Check that out on my channel. And a little slug turned up. A little sluggy. Look at him. So we need to take him outside. I have pineapple in my hand. Hold this. Hold this. Right. How do I do it? Get something pointy. Pop them on your tweezers or something and carry your them nail. out. Ooh. There we go. Mm. He's so cute. See these sorts of animals? They're your friends. They're not trying to hurt you. They're very cute. I think slugs and snails are really cute. I mean, the big ones are pretty ugly and I wouldn't touch those. Discrimination. Ooh. One's like this though. Right, let's put him outside. Should I put him on the leaf or do you think he'll fall down? Well, I wouldn't wouldn't risk that. Try and stick him on that shelf there. Off you go. Off you go on your adventure. Maybe he'll make his way down the bottom. Down the side of the, the um hmm. down the side of the building. Right, hello. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. We I haven't filmed anything today because we've been doing laundry. As you can see, there's clothes hanging up everywhere. And somebody asked us a question on our last video. And we, I just thought, I said to Alex, because he said he wanted to hear more about it. So we thought we'd just answer it just before we begin the rest of the vlog. Because I think we're going to the cinema they later. Replied. And, huh? You replied. Yeah, he said, I think okay. a video dedicated to this subject would be great. I'm sure others are dealing with this as well. And because this is, a t this is a question that was actually directed at Alex in particular, I thought it would be better to have it on this channel rather than on my channel. I'm going to flip this down so I don't keep on looking at myself. Um, uh, yeah, I thought it would be better to have it on this channel rather than my channel because it was directed at Alex and we can talk about it together just really quickly before we finish the vlog. And sometimes we might do this. If you have any questions, specific questions for us, we'll sit down and answer them within the vlog. Um, because some days we do some just days sit around. It's just the same thing. Yeah. Or we so, don't do much for editing. Or, exactly. Yeah. So the question mm -hmm. was, Alex, how long did it take you to find a partner who's interested in the same things as you are? I feel like my current relationship is doomed because she is not into the life changes I'm making to be a better, fitter, happier, healthier person. Any comments in general about this topic? So I'll let you answer first. The trouble is, because we met each other on like the first day of university and it was all... I feel like we got very lucky in that sense that we just kind of met, we got along and then we just kind of started going out and we had all the similar interests. Mm -hmm. I don't, unfortunately, because I've never really had any other relationships, it's hard to say like for someone who's single or for someone who's in a relationship, how you go about finding a person who has the similar interests as you. Because yeah, so Maddie went vegan the end of 2013 and then it was about another two years before I went vegan. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I was kind of imagining that the person who asked the question, that they're almost like in your position, yeah. possibly. They were thinking, oh, I've, you know, I've changed. Yeah. I want to you know, be fitter and healthier. Yeah. I want to do all these things. Why isn't Alex doing it? Because a lot of the time, uh, when I moved to Cornwall, I didn't have a job for a little while. Yeah. You know, Maddie would be going to work, I'd be getting up at whatever time, I wouldn't be doing stuff, I wouldn't be exercising. Yeah. Um, for some of that time, I was still, I think I was vegetarian at that point, wasn't I? Yeah. So, when you first moved down, yeah. Yeah. And I, yeah, you used to get a bit annoyed at me because, yeah. you know, you'd come home and that I... That was what a lot of our arguments were about, yeah, honestly. You'd come home and I hadn't done anything all day. Even, yeah. Not even basic chores. And it was hard. It was hard for me, but it must be much harder for you mm. having to put up with it. I see, you know, I see a lot of questions like this on um, certain like vegan like Reddit pages or mm -hmm. Facebook pages. People say, oh, um, did your boyfriend or girlfriend go vegan? You know, it's not, it's not related to veganism necessarily, but I- Could be any big could change. Be anything, yeah. yeah. And that's, and I always say to them, they say, oh, how, how do I make him change? Or he doesn't seem very interested. Um, I think this is gonna be like a deal breaker for our relationship. Yeah. And I always say, well, it took me a couple of years with my girlfriend, not just veganism, with other things. 
and I find that if you're, I don't know, supportive and encouraging as well, um, obviously don't don't put up with them just, you know, taking advantage of you. But if yeah. if you're supportive of them, like you would always, you would cook me nice food. Yeah. But and I let you make your decisions. Yeah. And I'd explain to you the yeah. things that I would. Ex- was passionate about and that just kind of rubbed yeah. off on you but yeah, I, was I, 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 could, no, I, could, I could eat what I wanted but most of the time I'd be like right I'll just you just cook or I'll cook something for but us. I found that generally speaking around me you made ch- positive choices to eat vegan and eat vegetarian yeah that's the thing I think I think so it never really was a confrontational conflict yeah, or anything but it was your sort of behavior that helped me yeah. do that even if it took I guess a relatively long time for me to properly make the change because even when I became vegan I still as I said I still would be waking up there's still other things like that you're referring to about being happy and healthy and fitter and I think you have to remember that everyone goes through different changes at different times in their life and I can totally relate that when you do make a positive change you want to scream it from the rooftops and you want everyone around you to do the same like when you go vegan you want everyone to go vegan with you when you start doing an exercise or um, a sport that you love, you want everyone to do it with you because it's so much fun and when you, I don't know, whatever it is that you're doing, you just want everyone to join in on it and when they don't, when they're like lazy and they're not exercising or they're not eating vegan, you're like, why aren't you? Because this is so wonderful for me, I yeah. want it to, because you love that person, so you want to help them and you want them to be doing what you're doing, it's really enjoyable for you. Yeah. And you would always say um, that I was a couple of years behind you yeah. in terms of like personal growth. So like but I think some things not you... to be sexist, but I think that's kind of a common thing amongst men and women, and that's why a lot of women, I think, typically go out with men who are older than them. I don't know if that's going to get mm. loads of comments, people saying that's Maybe. not true. <laughs> but like, typically, I think that women, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's our nurturing nature, our empathetic nature. I personally feel that makes us mature sometimes quicker. Not always. And this isn't sexist because there are plenty of men probably who are far more mature than I am and they're like 18. But generally speaking, I think that maybe it takes a little bit more time for guys to kind of yeah. grow up with certain certain elements. Other elements, you're more grown up than I am. Yeah. But with things like moving out of home, like I think it's the statistics show that women tend to move out of home a lot earlier than men do. And with things like, you know, washing up and like Thing, like really silly stuff um, I think it took you a little bit longer to kind of come to terms with it and a, a lot of it was frustrating to me because sometimes I felt like your mum like telling you what to yeah. do and telling you encouraging you to do certain things and I just wanted you to do it for yourself and that's where we are at now so Alex is doing these things for himself now he went vegan for himself he's like you're becoming more and more minimalist every day for yourself and you're wanting to do, you know, editing and stuff. And yes, I've had the influence on you, but you're doing it for you now and I'm not having to like, kind of say, mm. hey, you know? So what we're trying to say is, if you're finding you're having this situation in your relationship, give it time. If you love the person and if you're right for one another, if you genuinely, because it, it can be two different things. Like sometimes you have to let that person go. They're not right for you. You've just moved, grown apart and that's totally okay. Don't look at it as a negative thing. You served a purpose for that person's, that person and your life during that time. And just like some friendships, some friendships you have when you're younger and then you move on and you have another friendship. It's not, relationships don't need to be treated as, oh my God, it's the end of it. Oh, it's the worst thing ever. I mean, it's terrible when it happens, but um, sometimes they serve their purpose and then you move on. So if you don't feel that love for that person anymore, that's a different story. But if you still love that person deeply and you care for them and you want to be with them, just give it time. Everyone is different and it's not worth breaking up with someone yeah. who you dearly love because that they is. haven't, they're not as fit as you are right now. They're not going vegan or they're not trying to be healthy. We don't know the specifics of the situation, obviously, yeah. but you could say, oh, maybe it's best to just cut your losses and do what's best for you and just go and go and find someone who fits what you want more but if you know if, if it is like you said someone who you really care about and it, you could think to yourself is it worth the time and effort I would put in to maybe help them change if they mm. wanted to then think what positive it. impact you could have on their life I'm a loyal person I don't have loads of friends I haven't I've basically always been in a relationship because 
I truly believe in the idea of when you found someone you care about, like, don't give it up. We've gone through so many hard times, you wouldn't believe. And the, the reason that people build strong relationships is because they go through those hard times and they are still together on the other side of it. And you gotta stick at it and sometimes it can, it's hard to make that decision. But if you, if you feel in your gut you love them and you think that they are, they're open to changes, if they're completely like disrespecting it, like no way, I never wanna do it. Like, then of course there's a lost cause, but if they're open to it, they're kind of, you know, they're gonna wanna do it, they're interested. You can have a positive impact on them, like Alex. He was always open to the ideas of it. It just took him a bit longer. So that's our advice, I think. And I wish you the best. And anyone else who's struggling with this, because I know that it's probably quite a common struggle for people to develop at different mm. times. And when you're in a relationship with someone, you know, some people probably would give the advice of, say goodbye to them and go find someone who's at the same, the same level as you. I personally don't know about that. It's hard to yeah. say. But I only yeah. know from my experience with Alex, I couldn't live my life without him because that's how I feel about him. So I don't, I couldn't, I couldn't relate in the sense that I wouldn't want you to not be there. <laughs> We're being all softy now. But yeah, it's true. So if you feel that way about somebody, don't give it up just because you're going through like a positive change because you're likely to influence them too and think how wonderful that is like we both helped each other out so many ways and that's what yeah. a relationship's about so yeah how long do we talk for 11 minutes maybe we'll just tack on a few little activities we do this afternoon and i hope you enjoyed that maybe we'll make this like a weekly thing or something um when we see a comment that's particularly stands out that we can relate to we'll answer it for you because i think that you don't talk a lot in yeah. videos but you have, alex is very well, rational and wise and you have a different um you have a different perspective sometimes on things than yeah. i would it's a hard question to answer in yeah. just a comment mm. um and it will help other people yeah going through the same thing so yeah so leave us that... your comments and we'll we'll try and answer them a few times a week or something i hope that was of some help yes hopefully yeah what was your name your it's name was Bacchanel hashtag carb the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we'll probably see you when we go to dinner. I just reread your comment, kind of, and I realized we didn't answer about you saying, how do you find someone who's interested in the same things as you are? We just kind of talked about, if, you know, development and growth. I think that if fundamentally you have completely different interests, then maybe that's a lost cause because, I don't know, that can be hard. There's nothing wrong with having different interests. Like Alex likes Pokemon and sports, and I'm not interested in that, like football. And I like, I don't know, girly things, but, I think you need to have, generally speaking, similar interests and Alex and I just so happen to have that and that's kind of what we connected over when we started and our interests have grown together like things like cycling and we've kind of adopted them together so I don't know, that's kind of a tricky one because um, Alex and I just, we're very similar in a lot of ways so we've kind of had similar interests and then grown to have, like the same type of thing so I don't know. But then. Some of you guys, you could maybe leave some comments in the description. Maybe some of you are in relationships that are really, really happy and you have nothing, no similar interest to your husband. Comments in the description. Sorry, comments down below. Who You might be mad, madly in love with your husband or boyfriend or girlfriend or wife and you might have no, no similar interests and no similar hobbies, but you madly love one another. I know that can be true as well. It might just make things easier if you have similar interests because you can do them together. But yeah, um... I wanted to add that on because I didn't think I'd, I'd forgotten to say anything about that. <laughs> We're off for dinner and a movie. We're really sad because, do you know what says? Yeah. We're sad because Alien isn't showing. Oh! Look! Oh. <laughs> Hello. Um, Alien isn't showing in the cinema anymore. So we're gonna see Wonder Woman instead. And it's on every hour, so we're like free when we wanna go. And maybe some other people might wanna come too. But yeah, it was actually really lovely spending today inside and not leaving and well, we left for cycling, but to just chill inside and I, I had a nap and it was nice listening to the rain and isn't it good? Finally did the laundry. Finally did the laundry, yeah. <laughs> oh.
<laughs> I just trod in the grass, not thinking that it would be a puddle, and my whole foot is now soaked. Idiot. I don't even have socks on because all our socks are dirty, so it makes it even worse. Well, they're probably better, technically. So I'm going to have to sit eating food and in a cinema with wet feet yeah, for the rest the, of the night. The shoe would dry much quicker than the uh, sock, surely. That is really unpleasant. That's one of my, when I was younger, that was one of my least favourite feelings, huh. having a wet foot, like if you Just, stepped Just uh, something. take your shoe off at dinner. Yeah, I think I might. <laughs> under the table. Yeah. Then it will dry oh, a bit quicker. Oh, well. Really good. <laughs> good. <laughs> 